Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to check out CodeKarate.com, learn a little bit about our Drupal Commerce course and our 5 Secrets ebook. We are on episode number 193 today and it's going to be a short one. And we're going to be looking at the interval field module. If you've ever had a situation where you need to allow a field to show basically a duration, so two months, three days, four years, something like that on your Drupal site, the interval field module is just the solution for you. So it's not something that you're going to use too often, but there are a few situations where it can be helpful. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we have it installed on our test site here. As you can see, I have the 7.x-1.0 version installed. And so we're just going to go to a content type. I have a content type called training. And I'm just going to add a duration field to this. Well, I'll call it duration. It's actually going to be an interval field. So select interval. As soon as you turn on the module, you will have a new field type. There's only one widget, so we'll leave that at its default. So we click Save. And now it allows you to set a few options here. So the first one is the allowed periods. So what you select here will be selectable by the user when they're entering the value for this field. So let's say we want minutes, hours, and days. We'll, we'll Let's put months too. So there we go. We'll leave out the other ones and we'll set the default value to two hours and click save. Move this up there. And now we're going to go ahead and create a training content. We'll create some training. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call this one week long conference. And let's say it's four days. You, can, you notice there's only the four options that we selected here. I could add some text if I wanted to in the body, but I'm just going to leave that. So you can see I now have a duration field that says four days. Pretty simple. This is something you can sometimes use in replacement of a date field or in addition to a date field. If you have a, a something that spans a long duration, sometimes it's hard for people to understand how long that really is. So a duration field or an interval field can help with that. Let's go ahead and add another one here. Let's say we are scheduling a month-long class. So we want to say one month. Notice it says one months here, but when you save it, it knows that this is the singular, so it'll take the S off it. So if we click Save. You notice it says one month, not one month. So it's a super simple module. There's really not much to it, but it's something that I think can be useful in specific situations where you want to really keep track of that interval versus just having a, a set of dates. So go ahead and check it out. Let us know what you think. And if you have any other suggestions for future videos on the Daily Dose of Drupal, Make sure to head over to CodeKarate.com, click on contact, or you know, send me a message on Twitter or something like that. Just get a hold of me. Until next time, see you later.